Aloha everybody, I'm back once again with more Let's Play of Vampire Part 6. Alright, we met up with, with, Sean Will with Sean, and we got the key to the sewers, and we also met Fergal. Now we're going to be in the sewers, and we're going to have a boss battle. Right after we explore the sewers. Alright. Cannot enter. Let's see here. We're in the sewer right now. We're gonna take out the boss battle first. Then we can do the hide and seek investigation. Get some shillings. Skeletons are left behind. Why are there skeletons all over the place? Let's see what we have here. Get some rats. Whoa, why are there bones hanging on the hook? Who would do such a thing? Oh. I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. <sighs> okay. Got to follow the trail of blood. There's a locked door it's over there. Locked. We can't open it. Uh oh. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn. Or I'll crush you like a maggot. Oh my god, he is a vampire. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. That was the guy that Dyson was talking about. When Tom was talking about. He's got claws. He's at a level 18. He'll lunge into you and punch you. Power you cannot comprehend. Ouch. Oh my god. What's all that fuck? All I gotta do is watch his pattern. Don't challenge the dictates of Ascalon! I do. Man. I could just get his blood. That hurt. I'm toast. Ah, not for long. Yeah, he launches into you. Fight him. Come on. Maybe if I could keep attacking him from behind. Really? Oh my god. He lowers my maximum health, which is annoying. Whence you vanished, 
Yeah, he's selling shadows. Summoning shadows and he knocked me out. Why is he so fast and strong? He's laughing while he's selling shadows to attack me. Oh my god. Take one more hit. About to be done with dinner. Leave me alone. I shall tear thee apart and spill my blood to the pissing wells. <laughs> mad. Why are you laughing? Leave me alone, Fertile. Down, stay down. Yeah, he's gonna appear on the ceiling just to ambush. Return me. to your apothecary and needles. No. <laughs> you ugly brute. Slow as a snail. Don't insult me with the snail jokes. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's it. Now I'm mad. Way to knock me out, Verbal. Foolish Echon. What did you call me? You're dead, pal. I shall crush you. Watch out. Well, he's, he's Your blood is rubble on the ceiling. Best to dodge. Okay. He just resisted. Come on. Oh my god, he just knocked me down. Come on. Dodged it! You're gonna down, keep dodging. Stay down. That does it. You're going down, turtle. Nope. God. That's in my blood. Who are you calling snail? Alright. Your blood is now mine. Oh yeah? Return. Oh, I'll finish you off. <laughs> that work? Yep. Oh, he doesn't explode. Oh, he's dead. You beat him. You kicked his butt. You defeated Fergal. Got some common trigger parts. Very nice. You deserve worse, pal. Alright. Let me get rid of it.
In that case. We leave. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Yep. True. We're gonna go go to the sewers where we're gonna find that guy. Oh, you gotta be up. Let's jump over here. Oh, wait. Why are there so many mine carts there? We're in the mines. Not just sewers, mines. Skulls. Safe we are still. That's Bridget. Drink now. Bless you, Bridget. They can talk. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. The Skulls territory. We're not in West End. We're in. Oh my God. Mason and Loretta need to be cured, but we got to be at a mesmerized level three. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Echo. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. Wow. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Volkod. drives them, enrages them. Fergal's a Volkod. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps... Because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. I can't no. tell if she's the Red Queen Harriet or not. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you, she is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. 
She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Uh. Okay. Where could a man in the sewers possibly be? Gotta check on Harriet Jones. What's up up there? Let's see what we got there. Eternal gratitude for your protection, master. <laughs> They're good skulls now. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Yeah, thank you so much. See here. New hideout. Ooh, yeah. A common mace. Some more Naragia, that's just in case. Oh man. Got more venisons. For now, anyway. Okay. At any rate, we're getting out of there. Just for the heck of it. We're in the embankment sewers. We're gonna have to save this man. His name is Ronnie Grader. That's him. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? Yeah, he's wearing I'll a face mask. The same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. He is grumpy. Convince Rodney to go back to the docks. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Whoa. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Whatever you've done, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding here. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Not kill him. I'm you mean, you mean Fergal, right? I didn't want to come here. It was an accident. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. Let's check for some details. Rodney had fled away after having a killed member of the Wet, wet Boot Boys. Ronnie's crime was in fact unintentional. Success! Potassium Primaganti. Now oh, we saved Ronnie's life. Alright, so from now on we're going to go talk and check on Harriet Jones. Oh, great shortcut.
I gotta follow that Y. As a matter of fact, I'm out of blood. I have this thirst for blood. I know that. I can't believe I'm doing this. You don't have a choice. This is despicable. Very despicable. Okay. Econ, Escalon, Skull, Vampire, what's the difference? Can you explain to me what it is? Nah. If you do, please let me know, okay? Anywho, folks. Let's see if we can look around for some more treasure. Aluminum shards and some shilling. One shilling, one bullet. Bottle of alcohol. More shillings. Yay. Okay, let's go in there and see what we got. Oh. Same area. Well, that's a shortcut at least. Yeah, that mine's kind of reminded me of Resident Evil 4. Doesn't it? Still searching for some more items. Why am I going around in circles? Jeez, man. Gotta keep going. More items. sewers. Nice. A shortcut. Where does it lead to?
gonna load or not? Oh. Now you're doing it. Wow. This leads to the other sewers. Necklace. Oh man, that's a whole lot of skeletons. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. Told you it's locked. Okay. Where are we again? We're in the North Docks. But darn, let's just go back. Come on, load, please. This time, follow. Why are there so many bones all over the place? There's Harriet. Sturdy blood sample. Supremacy of Econs. Collectibles. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Here. Key items. Flower bouquet. Boundary key. Key, more underground key. All right, let's talk to her. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor, so full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet, if you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Oh my god. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Oh my god, is she becoming a mutant or something? Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. 
Seriously? Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. She doesn't care. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. Always alone. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are similar, but not the same, Harriet. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Wow. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. <sighs> Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered something in the deep darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me, and now it is silent. But it is born of hatred, <laughs> and it will kill again, <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Yeah. Go back to Sean Hampton's shelter and confront him. Alright, guys. We're gonna confront Sean Hampton one last time. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. See here. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. 
You believe it to be stronger than your own? Ah, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Ekon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Okay. All right, we're gonna get out of this sewers. The skull sewers. They're good skulls. Chillings. Why is there a boat there? There's a bar too. The vampire hunters will never find us here. Vampire hunters will never find us here. <laughs> it's already done. You know what? I think I'm gonna check one last time. Probably need to go in there. All right. Can I use her weapons? We're in Sean Hampton's night shelter. Welcome Let's come back, him. Doctor Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Are you eating raw flesh? Ew, gross. Raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? Let's see here. Check for some details. You don't get hints, you lose hints. You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Why are his eyes yellow? Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. 
That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? Do you want to get candle? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. If I pick, I'd like to trust you. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. How? I have come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. You. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Let's see here. Let's spare him. If I had hints on Locke, it would help. If I spare I him, you, what happens? In fact, I envy the peace you found and will remember it. There is love and compassion in your heart. You only need to give it wings. Thank you for your kind words, Sean. Continue your noble efforts. You are a good man in bad times. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. Hmm. Hints are all hints have failed. Two hints totally failed, quite literally. <laughs> wow. A lot of skeletons. We'll get the heck out of here. Or are there any investigations I can do? Let's try to do it one more time. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Seriously? Another corpse? Paxton sisters. Hello there. More shillings. How you doing, Martin? Of course. Some more shillings. Before I rest to evolve, I'm going to do the shelter one last time.
Actually, let's, let's check up there and see what we got here. Oh, looks like a bar and a piano. Why is there a dead body over on the bed? Codeine. Another skull? The bad skulls! I'm glad I spared Sean's life. Let's see what happens on the next day, right? Seems like we have to go on top of the bridge. We need to get inside. go again. We'll do it from the top. Turn around, sir. Burn it, boys! Where did you come from? Go away! And that's how it's done. start leveling up so that I can get strong. That was a close one. place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. I should find some way to pay my risk. May all who suffered from this tragedy find Now let's talk to Dyson Delaney. Rest in peace. Pick up the flower bouquet, and then get to the graveyard. At any rate, 
We're gonna go talk to Tyson Delaney about the bombing. Okay. Tyson is in the bar. Figures. Oh, not the loading screen again. to keep eating rats. Hey Seymour. Oh no, let's check my map. Mesmerize is that let me check my mesmerize level. Level three! Booyah! Let's talk to Dyson. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're a doctor. <laughs> Is it true Sean Hampton saved your life? Yep. Yeah. The sad saint grabbed my soggy ass and brought me back to the <laughs> pier after I fell into the canal. Oh, I was a wreck back then. Your story is a sad one, Mr. Delaney. Sean Hampton really acted like a saint that day. But I suppose I'm just another lost soul who doesn't deserve to be saved. Wow. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened. Just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. I never thought someone would... Well... Thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No, I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Stupid bastard. Why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. We'd rather not talk about that. I sense your guilt, Dyson. Why is that? Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just... By killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No way. You made a mistake. A terrible mistake. Maybe an unforgivable one. But that does not mean that you are a monster. I swear I did not want to kill anyone. I did not hide in the shadow to kill on purpose. That's my only defense. That uh, hint failed. What happened? <laughs> I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No. You made the wrong I choice. I don't want to remember it. Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson ammunitions factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. The victims. They were not the target then. I spent so much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Let's talk to Sabrina. 
Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the turquoise turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Self. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. So you and your friends all feel in danger? No exceptions? Tom's the only exception I've come across until now. But he's... He's what? He's not like everybody else. This place seems... How shall I put it? Very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. True. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. I'm not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it, neither. Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Whoa. Who's mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay. And my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. Mum was a maid and her dad's a sailor. And here I am. Yep. Believe me, I... If that's true, you... Alright. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. These are good drinks just as likely to cause a problem as to solve them. Alright. What's next? How hard do they fall? You have to do it. Let's check them out. Dr. Swansea, new dialogue available. And Lady Ashbury. Whoa. That is one big train. Scum, they're going down. Dodged it. Waste of blood. All right, that's it. You're going down.
Take that. Take that. Ouch. He just blew up. Got guts. Get our weapons ready. We found one. Straight line. That hurts. Well, I'm not gonna go down that battle. What are you doing? The bombs. another one Did you get that nice thing Eat what Set that. Okay. Keep going. Why are you loading? So that's the area where we helped Milton last time. Death of Samuel Connor. Let's find out the cause of death. It's probably inside. this
Let's go inside. It's in the morgue. Frames are going down. Uh, got the watch. Where are we again? Go inside the morgue. So that we can find the cause of death. Got nothing but skulls. Oh my god! That's a whole army of skulls. Evil ones. They're dead now. It's locked, alright. Yep. How locked? It's probably down there. See that coming. Enough. Okay. It's cool. Let's check down there. Wow. Why are his eyes glowing? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Shut up. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Ew. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Can't tell. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. That's messed up. Signs of internal bleeding. 
So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Yeah. Tippett has made an ag You already said that. You can either talk to Tibbet or Brannigan. It's locked, all right. Either way, it's fine. Why won't these skulls shut up? I'll go after these punks. I'll go after them no matter what. That way I can find XP. Get off me. That's ten. Blinker Skull. I'll go deal with him. Now you're finished. Sturdy blood sample. What does it give you? Regeneration serum. Cool. Now we're out of here. No, you can't use the elevator. I think it's about time we get the heck out of there. Oh great, more skulls. this morgue. Phew! Finally! Okay. We'll have to go see Dr. Tibbetts from now on. Hmm. 
<laughs> Could you not load? Could you load, please? We're gonna talk to Lady Ashbury and Dr. Swansea. Good evening, Dr. Tippet. Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Dr. Gotta talk to Dr. Brannigan. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? No. Pick the wrong choice. I can't say I approve of what you did. But as a field surgeon, I know that some situations require you to bend the rules. I'm not proud of what I've done, but to contain yeah, the epidemic must be our priority. So we can't afford to lose Dr. Tippett's. Nope. You don't. Goodbye, now. Alright, next. We're gonna we're gonna go talk to Dr. Tibbets about the medical error. Surely I Doctor Cocorn, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong. And the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. True. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Booyah. More shillings. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. What is Cyprus? I could buy a house there by the sea. Read poetry and wait for death. Whoa. Nurse Brannigan has been recently accused of neglecting her professional duties. Tell me what you really think about it. This kind of protest is nothing but elitist bullshit. <laughs> I trust Nurse Brannigan with my life. She has what it takes to be a great doctor. Do you really think she could be the next Elizabeth Blackwell? Believe me, Dr. Reed, a time will come when skill and skill alone will determine who can be a physician and who cannot. Goodbye. All right. Time to talk to Lady Ashbury for now. It is good to see you again. I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashbury. Dr. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. Really? What do you mean? There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. 
Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, then who? I saw the bodies and the blood. Your rebirth has not gone unnoticed, Jonathan. Be extremely careful. If you get in the way of an immortal's plans... Do you suspect someone? I don't know, Jonathan. I steer clear of vampire politics, especially whilst hunters roam the city's streets. With the pre one? I discovered the most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name of old Bridget. And a man who helps them remain hidden in London. Old Bridget? Peculiar name. I've never heard of her. According to old Bridget, Skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves by feeding on corpses and the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Skulls are the orphans of the vampire society. They are the shame of their genitors. A disgrace to the vampire that created them. Goodbye for now, my lady. Yeah. Now it's time we talk to Dr. Swansea. Mind if I check the investigation again? All done. We still gotta help. Peace out. Dr. Swansea. How's it going, sir? Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. I found Harriet Jones. She's much the same old embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Incredible. Well, why not bring her here? We could learn so much by studying her condition. It would be fascinating. I doubt that. She can barely move. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of skulls. Perhaps. But she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit your discovery to the Brotherhood's primate. He will be delighted. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. I crossed paths with one. A terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was sent by the Ascalon Club to exterminate the Skulls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then dark times are upon us. Darker than I've ever witnessed. Kind of reminded me of Twilight. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know? Jonathan, our against vampires and Voltori is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior taste but I digress. and selective acquaintance. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I'd never heard of her. Why? A patient of ours? I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just someone I recently met. A fascinating woman. I had thought that perhaps... By the stole, Jonathan, you've met another vampire? 
I would appreciate an introduction, if that's the case. A pleasure, as always. All good for now. Fuck the bulls. We're out of here. Still gotta help me shun go back to White Chapel. Let's check our map, shall we? Check over there. Uh oh. I see that coming right now. No away. What's wrong with you? Leave me alone. Silver's gonna scare me, buddy. I have this thirst for blood. We're gonna be fighting off skulls by saving the shock man so that we can defeat the skulls. Actually, defeat the skulls so that we can save. you're 
right. Kaboom. You okay, sir? What? What happened? Who are you? It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. For a moment, I thought those bloody heathens had killed me. What are you doing They're skulls. Here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent, but those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Yeah, filthy immigrants. Fucking savages, every one of them. <laughs> and now with this bloody fever, they're just animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the... savages. He has a cold. We gotta do. Yeah, we saved his life. You had better return to Whitechapel without safety. Isn't really an issue in Whitechapel because you never are, never have been. The old place is falling to pieces. But thank you for the advice, sir. Dude. He has a cold. <laughs> But at least I saved his life, that's for sure. Now then. Still got two more. Oh yeah, the door has been finally unlocked. We're out of here. Can't give him medicine right now. Load, please. Da da da. Man, I can't even whistle. Try to whistle. Okay, folks, the district is totally serious. Okay. Red River, still gotta check on the corpse. That we do, certainly do. Of course, we gotta go, still gotta do the investigation. Up. That's a dead end. <laughs> right. Why am I going that way? Deal with these fruits, scum. That burned like crazy, man. I'm just gonna rest until I destroy you. Another one. 
Yeah, that freaking burns. What? Stop burning me! You're not gonna barbecue me again. Free wing punk. Rogue's calls. I hate skulls with a fiery passion. Some blood. From those criminal skulls. Now you're next, buddy. Two of them. Just a big beast? A pre one? Two pre ones? Guards battling an, an, an annoying beast? That's the way to burn them. Pre ones go after creatures. Gotcha. Oh no! The beast must die! Take that. Alright. You're next, buddy. Chapel. The district status is freaking serious. Quite literally. Let's see here. Speak to the merchant. I was right, Loretta has a cold. Good evening. You look ill, Miss Swanborough. I wonder if your concoction will do the trick. My... Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business otherwise. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Have you any news on Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It seems her dispensary isn't so busy nowadays. A good thing for the Swanborough Cordial. She's toast. Nurse Crane is toast. I'd like to see what... Let's see here. Stop lagging. Whatever, no problem. Nothing to worry about. See. Probably need to talk to him. Now that my mesmerized level is at three, I'm gonna have to go to that grave. Take a look. Don't be afraid. Let's check the citizen's name, shall we? We cured Loretta. 
Now we're going to have to cure Mason. Explode on contact. Let's check our map. Let's go over there. Now that we've finished off these pre win scums, I could probably. Can't even talk. Leech spotted. Leech spotted. I gotta watch his pattern. Sword. Torch. Torch. Sword. Ow. Torch. Find Mason. I'm gonna fend off these annoying skulls. The blinker skulls are the worst. Dead. Now get up there. Where's that door? Yeah, that's it. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. 
All right, Doctor, come on in. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. Oh. Another collectible. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. Give us a minute. You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Thank you, Doctor. Pleasure's mine. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I don't know who she is. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning, Mason has a sister named Loretta. So we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. She's younger than him. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Do you not appreciate your sister's visits? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Night. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. It's Here not it a joke. This letter seems authentic. And it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Yeah. We're gonna have to find the other pages. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. Okay. Wandering in. Let's see what else do we got? This part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. Yeah, I'm not gonna find them all. It's gonna be totally hard. From now on, gotta go find his house. Now that we've dealt with these annoying skulls that irritated me. We're going back to the graveyard, guys. You're destroying so many tombstones, Jonathan. Definitely vandalism. Well, talk to her. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is Xiao the Shun. proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only Just place Xiao where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember, my dear Matthew. Oh, she's fine. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees. But unfortunately, you don't see her around anymore. No, ma'am. You're right. You should go home now. No, not yet. I miss my dear Matthew so much. 
and I can't forgive myself. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. I agree. Your husband, Are you on Matthew. Your Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company. And some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiaoshu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come, or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity <coughs> of the situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Goodbye, Zhao Shun. Yeah. Matthew. The world has gone completely mad. Hello again. Hello again. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives. You and I. You should... I think you're right. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for... She's right. Success.
good. We're firing off these punks. Go away. Level 20 skull. I cannot enter. No, you can't. Now that you can. Why don't we check over there, can we? On the other side, man. I can't believe I'm doing this. Fight those freely punks. <laughs> it's locked, all right. It's locked from the other side. So exactly, how do you go from the other side? Probably there. Did you hear me? Finish. 
piss you off. to deal with skull problems. Deal with those freaking dudes. I'm gonna go check out the car. Once we check on the corpse, we'll rest, and then we can end this stream. Because I'm feeling very tired right now. Can stop with the loading.
Three receptors are annoying. like it if I kick your butt. You like it if I kick your butt? around sir still back <laughs> strong.
Let's check what's in this thing. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Nose brooch. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Alright. Uh, we'll take the man out in the board. Anyway. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. Actually, let's reset. If I reset, it'll go all the way.
That's good. The following night. Sean Hampton is missing. Spare his life, he will remain a mystery. It's all done for now. Now we can end this video. Okay, guys. Anyway, my name is Gabriel Gaming 5000K. I will see you in the next video. See you then.